Hey there! Today we're going to walk through adding a background to a Flipgrid video using both Google Meets and Screencastify. I don't have a fancy green screen like Zoom requires for a background. Google Meets doesn't require one. But the weird thing is that with Google Meets, you can't always add a picture in your professional account and you can't always record in your personal account. That's the case with mine, so I'm having to record a screencast over my Meet to get the video with the background recorded and then upload it in Flipgrid. Sounds confusing? It's really not. The first steps I want you to do are go ahead and save a background image that you want to use and then open up the three programs that we'll be using in tabs in Chrome. So open up Flipgrid, Meets, and Screencastify. I'll meet you back here after that. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to Meet and start a Meet. So in our Meet, we're gonna start a new meeting, start an instant meeting, and it's gonna pop up on the screen. Allow it, allow it. <laughs> Hi! And so easy, we're just going to click the little um, background man in the corner, and the backgrounds that Google has already preloaded for us come up, and then you have some blank box choices, white box choices with symbols in them. These symbols with the dots are different of blur effects that you can add, so if you have like some holiday craziness going on in your house right now, you can just cover it up. But today we're going to hit the plus sign, and we're going to add an image, okay? So I'm going to click on the image that I want to add, and it's going to add it behind me. This is like a fun holiday image, and it saves it for you down here. You can upload up to 10 photos at a time before you have to delete some, and you can't delete it while you're using it. So that's pretty nice, too. If you want to delete it, you can click off of it and then click the trash can, and it's gone. Easy. So once you have your background added, you can open up, you can either join the meet, join the meet to open it up. Then you can start to screencastify to record your screencast. So go ahead and record your screencast from Flipgrid and I'll meet you back in screencastify after. So we've recorded our screencast and now we're in our recordings in screencastify. So I want to go to my recording that I did and I want to open it in Editor. So once it opens in Editor, I think I have one open already. No. Okay, once it opens in Editor, in order to edit it, you need to click on the bottom and it'll highlight it with yellow. Then all of your editing tools will pop up. Edit to your heart's content, cut, crop, magnify text, and I'll meet you back in Flipgrid when you're done editing. So finish editing, then come over and export it as an MP4, name it something, and it's going to process. I'll meet you in Flipgrid after to show you what to do there. So let's see what we've done already. We've uploaded our background image. We started a meet and added it. We did our screencast. And now we're going to add our new video to our Flipgrid on the last step already. So easy. So you're going to go to your Flipgrid and record a response. Then, instead of clicking the record button like you would usually do, hi, you're gonna click the three dots on the side for options. Then you're gonna upload a clip, upload the video that you just made, and it will load into Flipgrid with your background and all the stuff that you put in the screencast. How simple was that, guys? It really wasn't that bad, right? Here are the instructions again in case you want to take a picture, a screenshot, or look at them some more. I'll try to make sure that they are added somehow in YouTube. I hope this was helpful. I hope it's something fun you can do to make virtual the virtual environment more fun while we're still in it. Have a safe and happy holiday season. See you next time.